Hello class, the focus of module 11 is on examining the benefits of diversity in the workplace and answering the question of why would an organization want to have a diverse workforce? Why is that important to organizations? We've spent the past several weeks looking at different diversity components detailing you know what exactly that diversity component was and why that is important in a diversity plan or uh, a diversity approach for an organization now we're going to focus on all of those diversity components collectively and we're going to examine why it is important for an organization to have a diverse workforce and to ensure that they are creating an environment where diversity is accepted and promoted. As we go through these next few weeks in the course, we're going to look at an organization and uh, diversity. In doing so, I've included in each module a couple articles on different initiatives that are occurring in the workplace so we can further analyze what other organizations are doing from a diversity perspective. I have a couple articles this week. The first article looks at different diversity programs and it provides three different tech-based companies, uh, their initiatives and what, what is working and what is not. Then also uh, 10 different diversity and inclusion ideas that could be implemented and it gives us a, a better understanding of what is actually occurring in the workplace obviously we have our workplace to reference but outside of that uh, we may not know what exactly is going on at other organizations the focus of this module is on the benefits of diversity as we go through these final weeks we'll look at the benefits of diversity we'll look at the culture and the impact that diversity has on the culture of an organization and we'll also look at why inclusion is needed diversity for to have a diverse workforce is not enough we organizations need to focus on inclusion when we think of the benefits of diversity and the different areas in which organizations benefit from diversity. There are, are four major areas that I found looking through the materials, which was to improve the culture. And we'll spend more time on the next couple of weeks looking at the culture, uh, the recruitment of a diverse workforce, improved customer relations. I believe this is often overlooked. And uh, I think for a lot of customers, they're looking for an organization that is socially aware, that is, um, diverse and that has individuals with similar characteristics to themselves and that improved innovation and productivity the four articles i've included today address those uh, four different areas of improvement in different capacities as you read through each of those you'll you'll start to see the same benefits repeated but then you'll also see one or two unique or uh, less common benefits of having a diverse workplace. I think it's interesting if we looked at these four areas in which are improved through diversity and, and we put the diversity components we've already covered across from them and just simply matched them. You would see a great deal of overlap between those diversity co components and areas of improvement. And it just highlights the fact that uh, being diverse, the benefits of a diversity come when organizations are meeting all those different diversity components. Lastly, we have our references for the week. If you guys have any questions at all, if you have any questions about this module, please let me know. As always, if there's anything else you believe I could add, uh, please let me know.